So the square goes there and currently it's on the green LEDs and the blue is not on and let's try to use the first one so that's the lowest torque and to the left that is push that button so even the smallest one is enough to remove these lug nuts and let's try the second one it's not working let's try the third one it's working third one out of four is removing my lug nuts So that's a 700 Newton meter brushless impact wrench from Makita. And we just remove the wheel. So I removed one wheel, that is five lug nuts, and the battery is at four LDs. Now let's remove the second wheel. It's warm, the lug nut is warm. Come on! Interesting. So I reinserted it and rotated a little bit to the right, then to the left and it came out. Again. So switch the direction, rotate it to the right and to the left. Come on! It's coming out easily. They are not out. This one is still stuck and I see multiple cuts in it. So that might be exactly from this tool because this one is hitting repeatedly. Multiple cuts there inside. So it's deforming this one. It's falling out easily and it's deforming that. Now let's tighten these to the right. It's using three green LEDs. Again, this falls off. Tighten it in one direction. So after this, that one, that one, and now a final tightening. And that should be okay. And at the end, this is stuck. It exits from the tool and it remains on the wheel. Now it's here, but if I tighten it, it will remain there. Interesting. Metal powder. Now here's a here's a manual tool. Let's verify how well it's tightened with this one also. And it is pretty good. It looks good. Of course the wheel is moving. I'm upsetting the gears inside this car. That was not too good. So check it with the manual too also. Okay. Just a tiny amount more. Went on that one. Okay. Looks good. Okay, it's not moving. We don't need to over tighten it with this electric tool. I removed that wheel and once again with three green LEDs it's removing the lug nuts pretty easily. The battery is still at four LEDs.
and that's it that's a good tool and after replacing four wheels the battery is full it's a 5 amp 18 volt battery and here's another thing from this manual tool if I remove this head the square is inside somewhere here in the middle and I cannot attach it here it's not entering deep enough so although the size is equal this is not holding the square that one from the end but from the center and it's not good so I can't use that one here